was good, yo. Good looking for coming out with me and spending some time, bro. We catching up with the KKB. Yo. Uh, you know, first of all, let people know who you are. Um, I'm Kid Boogie. I originated from New Jersey, but migrated down here early, early, super early. I'm from Barnegat. Uh, call me Mr. 609. Got it tatted. You know what I'm saying? I rep the shore. I'm all about peace, productivity, spreading love. You know what I'm saying? Positive vibes. I smoke a lot of weed. I'm all about, you know what I'm saying? Keeping that shit kosher, organic. Word. Appreciate that. Now, um, now you know, I had, I kind of had the uh, pleasure of just running into you, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Because I know we should have been probably got up a long time ago. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I ran into you at the Love and Hip Hop uh, viewing party and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, vibe was definitely great. You sent me over some songs. Word. Definitely had to catch up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Super uh, excited to work with you, too, bro. Nah, like, I appreciate that. Super excited. We're going, like, really, they're sleeping on us, and we're about to put together a movie, bro. So, I appreciate that. that. Um, let's, let's, talk about, uh, let's talk about some tracks that I got from, you know what I mean, uh, uh, Alone and Hold On. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, discuss those yeah. tracks real quick. Alone, um, it started as like an experiment and I, I thought about like if I could really like dive down into my inner thoughts and like get a find a beat first of all and then really like take a couple shots, really start feeling it and like dig into my pain, you know what I'm saying, to like what I feel like when I'm truly like by myself and nobody's there to help me because at the end you really only got yourself. So like if you can conquer all your fears and fight all your demons when you're alone and like who can really stop it? So I just turned that into a song and hopefully you guys can enjoy the visuals as well. You know what I'm saying? What up? So um let's talk about uh this new track you got, communication. Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk about the process of communication. <laughs> communication was like surely an accident, honestly. Like I was coming here to the studio and my man Greg hit me was like yo bro I got something to show you and when I got here he was like completely switched over and it's like bro when you were on your way here I made a completely different beat and I was like alright let me hear it and it was the communications beat and as soon as it came on like before I even took my coat off put my bag down anything I freestyled the hook and like my shorty was there she was like babe write that down babe write that down and i wrote it down and i uh <laughs> after that it was just it was just like five five minutes later the verse was done and then i recorded the first verse and i was like am i gonna put somebody else on it and then he was just like bro just fuck it write a second verse and then i wrote a second verse 10 minutes later the song was done and then a week later it's on apple music you know what i'm saying and hopefully we're about to push 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 get it up on the radio you know what i'm saying but it's streaming right now it's up on apple music kid boogie communication definitely look it out it's it's super vibey your girl's gonna love it you're gonna love it your mom will love it your pop's gonna dance to it in the shower, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really, it's the one. No, it definitely, definitely got a different vibe. It got that uh, reggae, reggae vibe. Yeah, yeah it's like, I mean? yo, I actually had this girl hit me up. She hit me up, she's like, are you Jamaican? I was like, <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm actually not. My mom's Spanish, like, she's a little Spanish, but nah, I'm definitely not Jamaican. I just, I felt the vibe and I just had to roll with it. We're big. Um, let's, let's talk about some, uh, Let's talk about some things you got coming up in the future. Like what you what you got, what you working on, what kind of projects you got coming out. Uh, I'm working on an EP that's dropping February. Uh, February something. I don't know the exact date. I know it's dropping like mid February. And then uh, my debut album is dropping at some point next year. But I'm not I'm not rushing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really taking my time with it. Uh, it's called Death by Art, and the the moral basis, I guess, behind it, the theme behind it, is like really just becoming K Boogie. You know what I'm saying? Like learning to have myself Aaron die, and like really truly becoming K Boogie. Like if you look in my 
in my bio for like all my social media it says become your art or die trying so like that's pretty much like my my direction and alone and hold on are actually both um death by art so like i guess you get the vibe already you know what I'm saying? You, you get the one sneak peek you're blessed man <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, you got communications early too, dude. Work, <laughs> work. You on the phone? Um, let's let's also talk about uh some uh you know let's what's some what's some artists you want to like to work with in the future? You know whether they're local, mainstream. What you what you look um, like? I guess I'll start local and I guess I'll branch off. Uh, a local artist that I haven't gotten the pleasure to work with yet. Uh, and it's really only like one dude that I really want to work with that I haven't worked with yet. And it's Chem Class. And he's from Asbury. But he actually moved to Barnegate where I'm from. And he's just like, I, a lot of people like that are like in my circle or whatever, they might throw shade or whatever. And like, I'm like, nah, like he's on to something. His style is super different. Like, and I have a, like a great love for different shit. Like, I love people who take art and really they're true to their art they don't like to conform you know what i'm saying like i'm all about like doing what you do and like really being you when you do what you do and not trying to let other people taint your craft you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day like your art is you you know what i'm saying what you put into it is what you get out of it and that's all people see and like he's putting himself into it and i see it you know what i'm saying i hear it it's different i feel it and i want to be a part of that you know what i'm saying but other than that, I got the pleasure of working with Wild Millie. Like we pretty much came up together like over the past year or two years and like created a buzz out here more so than I guess the buzz he had already had. But like as far as industry, like it's crazy, but a lot of people probably don't even know who this is, but I want to work with John Bellion. He's like my favorite, like probably person in the music industry right now. like. He's super talented, like, he ghost wrote, like, he wrote, um, what's that Eminem and Rihanna song? <sighs> Monsters, like, he wrote, you know, he wrote a bunch of people's songs, and people don't even know, like, the dude is super talented, he's got a crazy ear for music, produces a bunch of songs, like, him, I'd probably say, I want to do a song with, uh, I want to do a song with Chad B., because he's super wavy and I'm, we're both Jersey niggas and I, I feel like we can make a super, we can make a banger. You know what I'm saying? One time for Jersey, that would be dope. Uh, I want to do a song with probably Kanye West, but I don't want him on it. I just want to be from him. <laughs> uh, because I think his musical ear is really phenomenal, but I would like to just really like make that my own. Um, Outside of that, like, obviously, there's like the mainstream of Drake. You know what I'm saying? We could probably do something incredible. But I don't know. I listen to a small group of people. You know, Nipsey Hussle is super dope to me. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, where can people? You know, find you at like what? What's your what's your pl plug yourself right now? Uh, all social media, uh, Mister, spell it out, M I S T E R underscore six zero nine. Super easy. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. Uh, what else is there? Other than Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, K Boogie, K I D D B O O G I E. Uh. You can find my new single on Apple Music, Kid Boogie Communication, spelled exactly how it sounds, no special spelling. Uh, the rest of my stuff is on SoundCloud. My old mixtape, you can find on Bandcamp, and you can find that on SoundCloud too. Uh, area code 609, there's 14 tracks on there, and they're all super dope. Like, I'm not even trying to gas myself, but they're all super dope, and they're all super different. There's something for everything on like all my projects, so... Like, I, I try to diversify myself as an artist. I don't want to be a hip hop guy or an R&B guy or a pop guy or a soul guy. I want to be, I want to be everybody's favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what kind of music you listen to, unless you listen to like metal, because I don't think I can do that. But other than that, like, yeah, I want to, I want to really like 
I want to be like, oh, KB got the new song, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, whether it's a, uh, uh, a rap song or something for the street or something for the club or something for your bedroom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, I'm trying to do everything, so, holla at me, follow me, I, I'll follow you, I Not to take the lag now And I can see it in you You'll be holding back though Tell me what you 